fucking with some app in this bitch. Come on at you, pre recorded, then a motherfucker. So, Ted! Yeah, I gave myself an embolism. Aneurysm. Something ism. No isms. Things so weird looking. Uh, so today, I uh, got a couple of packages that have been accumulating over the weekend here. What the hell's going on? You, you feel like so far away. All right. So, uh, as y'all know, I uh, had me quite the adventure. I just finished my food. Um, well, I finished my food earlier than I was hollering at the next stream. Still dehydrated. That was a lot of sodium. I did finish the food though. So we got a couple things to unbox here. Start with this one. I believe I already know what this is. I didn't at first. Then I had to look at my uh, my order history because uh, I said, what the fuck is this? So it says pull to open. So uh, I've never seen this box before from Amazon. I was hoping it was something else. Cause I do got another thing coming. I don't know if it's in here or not. No, it's not in here. I don't know if it's in here or not, or if that's coming in a separate package. But I don't, oh, you pussy ass whore. Anyway, I'm fine. Yeah, so I, I saw what this one is and I was like, okay, cool, yeah, that works. Cause I, I've, been, uh, I've been looking to get one of these for a little while. Uh, even though I have, this is a solder, soldering station. That, but this is the good one. It's the Heco FX Triple Eight D, as in digital. What'd you think? What'd you guys think I was? You get your mind out of the gutter, y'all. What's wrong with you? Digital, because it's a digital temperature. What were you? Anyway, so this is a soldering station. I, I do have a. Uh... What does this hurt if there's nothing there? I do have a. Uh... Oh. SMD rework station. It's a 852D plus, I believe, or plus D. Uh, it's a clone. It's made by Zenny. And uh, I think I only paid like 60 bucks for it back in the day. Why is this thing like not working properly? Uh, but it has the hot air reworks, uh, airflow, hot air shit. But then it also has a clone of this, the FX888D, as in digital. But it's kind of a pain in the ass to like lug around whenever I just want to do a quick soldering job. And uh, this one is actually better because the gun itself is not a clone, it's the real deal. And uh, since I already have Hacko, uh, the Hacko desoldering gun, the, the actual pump gun or whatever, uh, that I paid like 300 and something dollars for, I figured I might as well complete the look and uh, get the actual soldering station, which I'm breaking right now at this moment. Because um, look how little this thing is. So this is way easier to you know carry than the uh, you know I mean the, the other thing's not too big, but it's just a pain in the ass and like then the fucking uh, the hot air shit always gets in the way and it's like if I just need to solder I don't need all that shit you know taking up all this space where wherever I'm trying to work. Uh, I guess these guys give you the little the little base plate which is nice too because the one I got is real flimsy and cheap. Basically, all you got is these two things, and then you got the little uh, the sponge that goes in here. And oh, that's nice. You, you can put the little uh, the little brass uh, thingy in here so you can scrape off the uh, the iron. But uh, another reason uh, was the the clone one, the the actual. Lord. The clone one I got, the actual uh, iron itself doesn't have a, a, a proper fit like for the tips so even though I have the hackle tips inside the the actual iron itself on the clone it it's like uh, I had to do something like kind of modify it a little bit for the tips to seat properly you know like it, it, it would it would be loose it would be like that so even though I had it screwed all the way down the the tip was almost floating and then it would make proper contact so um, but yeah so uh, likely never gonna <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'll use it, but I, I probably won't get as much use as I should be getting because considering all the shit that I got that has to be soldered together and installed and, and all this other shit, um, 
you know, you would think I'd, I'd be on it. But uh, let me just go ahead and undo all this shit here. But man, it's like, you know, I'm getting old, so my eyeballs don't work properly, especially this eye, I can't even see close. So like, I'd have to be like right here, you know? And this is my dominant eye, so, you know, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's difficult to do things. Then I always got the DTs, I'm always like shaking and nervous. And not nervous, but stumbling around, drunk. <laughs> but, uh, so this uses a DIN connector. As you can see. So this is nice and portable, easy. Just plug it in. I mean, the other one, you know, you just plug it in too. But uh, like I said, instead of lugging around a gigantic box, I could just have this right here. And it's not gonna take up the entire table. And with the other one out, even though I have uh, the little stand that it comes with, the, the little, uh, this thing here is a separate piece. Yo, I know why people love setting up my motion alerts. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right. Um, but even though I got the uh, the little, I forget what this thing is called, but it's basically to scrape off the excess solder, you know, out to here. But you could just shove it in here, whereas. The other one that I have is uh, its own thing. You know, it's like so I could just scrape scrape all the, the shit off here. And you got the little sponge here. So that's to clean the uh, the tip. And uh, I also have still uh, some. Why is that wet? Still have some of the uh, tips that I bought from Amazon here. These are all Hacko as well. So I, I've showed this in a uh, previous video, but this is like the looks like the ultra fine tip. This is maybe another ultra fine tip. <sighs> nice little knife tip here. You guys even see that? Another fine point tip, I guess. Oh, I guess like I have two of each and then the little knife or chisel tip or whatever. So I got plenty of tips to uh, corrode and ruin and, and foul up, but it also comes with one here. So that's nice. And like I said before, the other previous uh, iron itself, and actually this has like a nice little comfort grip. So I could be like, and this is actually a wider tip uh, than the ones that I got in here. Pause. Damn, you got me. All right. Yeah, see, that one's not as uh, fine as, say, something like this one. But sometimes you need these for, like, even though this will probably heat up nice and quick, you know, or, like, transfer the heat better, sometimes you need to do some really fine work, and uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass. So especially the shit that I get into, which is all these fucking mods where you got to, like, lift the legs off chips and whatnot and and you know very be very precise it's nice to have the the proper tools you know and once you're done you do all your little shits and wipe it all down and whatnot and then you can and, and this is a nice heavy base plate uh the one i have wasn't really that uh heavy so now i got my little workstation here and i still got the hot uh air rework station to if i ever need to do that which uh, i noticed I, I didn't really use as often as I thought it, I would because there, there's a lot of heat coming out of that thing. So sometimes it'll heat up things that you don't want it to heat up. And then you might end up, uh, you know, blowing some fucking paws, blowing some components off the board uh, unintentionally. Got the instruction manual right here. You might uh, get some parts off the board unintentionally because the heat is just blasting out of there at fucking 900 degrees or 800 degrees or whatever 400 celsius you know whatever shit like that so uh all right now that that's out of the way I, i'm not really gonna i don't know I, I, I have nothing to solder right now but i did plan on actually doing the uh n64 mod just because now i have like fucking four feet of fucking uh 
plugs coming out of that thing and it doesn't look, this thing is really heavy, mind you. Not really heavy, but just like unusually heavy compared for a little soldering station that I'm used to. This is my first real actual like soldering station aside from the one, the clone that I had, which is decent, like I said, it's not a bad station and I only paid 60 bucks, but I believe this thing was $115. And then all these tips are like maybe five to 10 bucks each, so. Now I got some proper shit, so now hopefully, I, that still doesn't mean that my soldering skills are gonna be on point, but uh, maybe they will be, because I got some new points. Sorry. No, that wasn't, okay. All right, All right. so that's that, uh, I'm glad I got that. Like I said, just complete the look. I got my desoldering iron station, not iron, pump gun thing, and uh, I kind of have like, you know, a little complete set. I would like the rework station, the hot air hackle one, but that's like, I think $1,000, $3,000. I'm not even 100% sure. Let's see. Ah, oh, man. All right. Let's get into the next video. Uh, see you on the next rip. Thank y'all for watching. Peace out.